it's a great day for a drive, especially in this 2022 Escape SE plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. It's star white with gray cloth interior, seating for five, four doors and a hatch. And this has the Ford Copilot 360 Assist, which includes voice activated navigation, as well as adaptive cruise control with stop and go. It also has a convenience package, which gives you an eight way power driver seat and power lift gate. And it has a cold weather package with the wrapped leather steering wheel that's heated. Your side view mirrors are also powered and heated as well and it has a 2.5 liter Atkinson hybrid engine, automatic transmission, and it's a front wheel drive, and so many more features. So stay tuned, we're gonna have a look under the hood and inside and out. And if you'd like to take this beauty out on a test drive, you can book it online today at islandford.ca. This is a 2.5 liter Atkinson hybrid engine. This vehicle is a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle and it uses both fuel, gas, and plug-in, as well as regenerative braking. It has an automatic transmission, and it's a front-wheel drive. Let's have a look inside. Can speaker in the door, as well as power locks, windows, and mirrors. The driver's seat is an eight-way power driver's seat, and you're seeing that nice flock material. They came out with that in 2020. Very nice. And you have a double pull system for your hood, so you don't have to reach around and look for a latch. And as well, you've got the power lift gate, your gas cap, a release and your lighting controls. On the face of the steering wheel is your lane keeping and you also have adaptive cruise control with stop and go. Your menus on the right, hands-free dialing and this is a push start. So my foot's on the brake, keys in the pocket. We're going to push the engine start stop button. Now this is a hybrid so it's going to let you know that it's ready to drive. And you're seeing that come up and it's telling us how much fuel because this uses both the lithium-ion battery that you can regenerate through regenerative braking or as well as plugging it in and then you also use the gas and we just have the different options in the menu here so we've got select screens audio navigation phone settings and display setup and these all have sub menus so just go into them and then off to the side here we've got our display screen and so we're seeing the home we can touch on audio and this little red line is just a protective cover on here that'll come off when you purchase the vehicle am fm sirius satellite radio as well as bluetooth we also have a voice activated navigation your map comes up and when we put the vehicle in reverse we're going to see our backup camera view so if you can see those white lines that's just showing you the direction that you're turning the wheel and where you're going and then there's a dotted line there for the center and then you've got green yellow red for how close you are when you back up to other objects or other vehicles and I'm just gonna put us back in a park and then we can go back into our home go into our settings and slide through so you've got uh, Bluetooth you've got your Ford Pass Connect automatic updates your display you can actually change the display screen one of the important things is your charge settings so uh, will charge when plugged in it's telling you that uh, the fully time to fully charge and your preferences and so forth so you've got a lot of information in there volume and tuner there's your hazard lights dual climate control heated seats for both driver and passenger and a heated steering wheel and you also have your front and rear defrost as well as the ac and max ac down below usb usb c and 12 volt and little place to put items there's your dial shifter electronic parking brake auto hold so if you're towing or on an incline you would use that and then these are the different modes that'll come up so there's normal I'm just pressing on it eco sport slippery and you're noticing the icons change deep snow sand normal and now you're hearing the engine kicking because you notice when we started up it was very quiet so on those screens you're seeing the different options that you have for the different traction so if your weather's changing or your uh, road conditions are changing you can adapt and there's a couple of cup holders here there's the ev and just press on that so it just shows you the different operation and you press through to let you know what you're doing there and then in the center you have the armrest you can open that up lots of room in there off to the side is the glove compartment up top here you have a manually dimming rear view mirror your lighting controls sunglass holder and you also have a grab handle up top that just makes it easier to get in inch wheels and mud flaps and what we're seeing here is our plug-in port so when you plug into this and your cord comes with the vehicle it'll light up to show you how much you have charged and it's just pressure fit so you just press it closed when you're done you have body colored door handles and you also have 
the driver's side capless easy fuel gas filler. There's a little bit of a spoiler and a windshield wiper and just below the escape badge is where your backup camera is located. You also have the ability to open up this lift gate either from pushing the button inside but I also can double click the fob and it'll power it open for you. This is very handy. We're seeing our charging cord there. Lots of room back here. You've got a 12 volt off to the side and then underneath is your spare tire and your jack and then when you're ready to close it all up there is a handle on the right hand side and you also have the button one of my favorites just press that you'll hear it chime and then it goes down securely and then lock everything up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure and on your fob you have remote start storage and speaker in the door as well as power windows they're sitting for three in the back with a 60 40 split you simply pull the lever and it'll bring the seat right down you now have access to the back cargo area you're seeing your plug-in because this is a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle there's anchors on the back of the seat to be able to tether baby seats and then just give the seat a push back into the upright position. Your seat minders, seat belt minders are located here so it keeps them out of the way and then you have the armrest in the center with a couple of cup holders, carpeted mats on the floor and slim pockets on the back of the front seat. You have your air vent and down below USB and USB-C. Off to the side is your hooks, handles and lighting. The windshield wiper and backup camera, privacy glass in the back windows, heated and powered side view mirrors with blind spot information system, halogen headlights and so many more features. So stay tuned and come visit us at Island Ford Superstore. If you would like to see more videos, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you and we'd love to hear your comments.